Here's a thought. What if we could check the status of a sheet without even clicking the sheet? And what I mean by that is, what if we could use a color code to indicate the status of a sheet? In this case, if Fred's sales are good, his sheet tab is green. But if Jane's sales are poor, her sheet tab is red. Changing a sheet's tab color is not difficult. You just go to the sheet tab, right click, choose tab color, and assign a color you wish. The problem is this is not dynamic, it's static. Looking at the Fred sales sheet, if Fred has met or exceeded his target, I'd like his sheet tab to be green. But in the case of Jane, Jane has yet to meet her target, so her sheet tab needs to be red. But then what happens if Jane does meet her target? I want her sheet tab to automatically turn to green. Your first thought might be to apply some conditional formatting. The problem is you can't apply conditional formatting to sheet tabs, only cells. I'm going to use a little cheat here and completely regenerate a new set of sales for Jane. And in this set of sales, her sales meet or exceed her target, so her sheet tab is green. But in this case, her sales do not meet her target, so her sheet tab is red. I'm using this trick for all of these sales reps. So in this case, Barry has met his sales, Helen has not, Arthur has not. But as I regenerate these sales, we can see depending on the situation, the sheet tabs are automatically changing their colors. We can't use conditional formatting for this, but we can use a very small bit of VBA code. Be sure to download this file from the link in the video description so you have access to all of the data, the formulas for generating this data, and the VBA code that drives the automatic formatting of the sheet tabs. Luckily for us, the code behind this is very simple. The catch is that code must be applied to each sheet in this workbook where you wish to have this behavior. Now before we look at that code, we need to understand just a few key points of the spreadsheet so we know what the code is examining. First off, I have a table of sales, and in this case for Arthur, it's a table called TBL Arthur, but you can call this anything you like. In cell D1, I'm summing up the sale amount column of the TBL Arthur table. In cell H1, I have a defined target for Arthur. And then finally in K1, I'm just taking Arthur's sales and deducting the target. That way, if Arthur has not met his target, the difference is a negative value. But if Arthur does meet his target, or exceeds it, the difference is a positive value. So if I see anything that's less than zero, I know that Arthur has not met his target. Now let's look at the code. We'll go down to Arthur's sheet tab, right click, and choose View Code. In the code, we check to see if K1, which is that difference calculation, is less than zero. Because if it is, we're going to set the color index for this sheet to 9. And in this case, color index equals 9 is a dark red. I'll show you all the color codes in just a moment. But if the difference in K1 is greater than or equal to 0, then we've met or exceeded our target. So we set the tab's color index to 10, which is a dark green. So logically, it's that simple. If K1 is less than 0, make it red. If it's not, make it green. Now this code is the same for every sheet. But what you need to make sure is you double click on each sheet that's going to have this behavior and paste that code to that sheet's code sheet. So each one of these has the exact same code. If I were to add another sheet, say for Thomas, I would have to be mindful to go to the Thomas sheet and paste this code. If you have more than two conditions, maybe you have a low, a medium, and a high with three different colors, you would just need to create a nested if or use some other equivalent VBA technique for making decisions. I've included a sheet here with all of the color index codes and an alternate use using the RGB function. On the left, if we use the tab.colorIndex property, we need to follow that up with a number. Here I have a list of those numbers and an example of what color you will receive if you choose that number. There are 56 color index codes. If you don't see the color that you need in this list of 56, then instead of using the tab.colorIndex property, you could use the tab.color property in conjunction with the RGB function. And here you can define the red, green, and blue color codes to create one of 4.3 billion colors. I've included a table with 20 different examples of a variety of different colors and what those RGB codes would be. So back in the code, I would change this tab.colorIndex equals 9 to tab.color and then use the RGB function to define the exact levels of red, green, and blue. 
In this case, full 255 in the R is full red, zero in the green, no green, zero in the blue, no blue. If I wanted to do the same thing for the green, I'll change that from tab.colorindex equals 10 to tab.color equals RGB, and I'll use no red, a little over half of the green, and then a bit of blue. So I've done that for the Arthur sales sheet. So now back on Arthur, Arthur has met his target, he gets this shade of green. If Arthur does not meet his target, he gets this shade of red. It might be a little easier to see the exact shade of red when we're not sitting on the sheet tab. So same thing for the exact shade of green. So there you go, a way to conditionally format the sheet tab colors without using the conditional format tool. You can now just look at the sheet tabs at a glance and know exactly the status. Let me know your thoughts on this technique in the comments. If you've got a better way of doing it, put that in the comments as well. This is the way I figured it out, but if there's a better way, I'd love to know it. And remember to download this file from the link in the video description so you have access to all that code and these color index tables. Thank you for watching, and remember at BCTI, the learning never stops.